Mm, hello, my beautiful friends and namaste. Welcome to Yin Yoga. Hi. <laughs> if you want to let me know in the comments um, who's here, that would be magical. I would love to be able to shout out to you. Um, but I know that Granya, you're joining us from Galway today. Thank you so much for being here. That means so much to know that family overseas is joining in on this flow. Namaste. Um, <clears throat> I'm so thankful for each one of you. Hi, hi, friends. If you're joining, um, let me know who's here. Hi, Claire Bear. You will need for today's flow um, cushions, blocks, blankets, whatever, whatever you want to give you a little bit of extra support. We'll be getting into our hips. But first, we're going to be working to sweep the mind and to cleanse the mind. Oh, I love you. Um, so for the first five to seven minutes of class. We're actually gonna begin standing today um, and then we'll ground and anchor. So my beautiful friends, pop on whatever music you wanna vibe to. Oh, hello, D, I I love you. Um, <laughs> start playing whatever you want or our playlist, Essence. And come to standing on your mat. Hmm. Bring your thumbs as close to the mound of your pinky as you can get them. All four fingers pointing upwards. We'll start here, and at a tight chin, take a breath in. And on your breath out, begin to form circles with your arms. Now for some of us, we might have to bring a bend to our elbows. Rather, we're not going forward yet, we're going back. Thank you, friends. Here we go. Yes. It looks like backstroke. We're going to start to bring a little more speed into each rotation as these joints warm up. So this is going to take endurance. This is going to take focus on your breath. But breathe in and breathe out. Good. Engage your core. Push firmly through your feet. Squeeze your glutes. If you need to take a moment to pause at the top, I want you to pay attention to the openness of your heart and then go straight back into it. You might find that this really becomes quite cumbersome, that it really becomes quite tiring. And when you start to feel that way, I want you to push onwards. I want you to push Further, and when we keep moving, see this as an opportunity to begin wiping away the muck, to begin clearing away what isn't serving you, and to begin drawing in those frequencies, those vibrations that you want more of. As we start to move through the resistance, and as we start to wade through the muck, we begin to get down to our innate essence, to our pure and radiant light. Yes? So we're working to really tap into our radiance at the beginning of this flow so that as this flow ends, we really feel the power that we hold within ourselves shining outside of ourselves. This is our opportunity to elevate the vibration, to elevate the frequency. Woo! So lean into your exhales. And again, the option to pause at the top. Open your heart piece towards the sky, then keep moving through this motion, friends. You're doing so good. Notice if you're holding your breath. Avoid the urge to pause. You're almost there. One more minute in this shape. God, feel that pure essence within you, that light within you, that strength within you, that ability you have to keep moving forward. Oh, good friends. 30 seconds. 
Stay committed. See if you can increase your pace. See in these last few rotations if you can work to create length through your arms. If you can work to straighten your elbows if they've been bent. Good. Last four. Three, two, and one. Start to change directions. If you were ever a swimmer, this is a lot like the butterfly, yeah? You have to push the water backwards in order to move forward. So this might feel even more challenging than that first rotation. That's okay. That's normal. Maintain your firm, rooted anchor into the floor. Glue your feet into your mat. Squeeze your glutes to protect yourself here. And send that mat backwards. We're moving forwards. We're cleansing the mind. We're sweeping the mind. We're working to create radiance. To embrace our vulnerability. <sighs> yes, friends. You're almost there. Keep going. One minute here. Right, make these motions count. Set <laughs> the tone for the rest of your practice. Can you maintain a sense of integrity in moments of hardship? In moments of difficulty, can you create grace? Can you create peace? The answer is yes, you can push forward for you, for the collective right now, keep going. So close, friends. Last four, three, two, and one. Lift your palms up. Gaze towards the sun. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Fold forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to. To get your hands to meet the earth. On your inhale, rise back to sand. Go ahead, exhale down. Inhale, rise. Go ahead, exhale, fold. We're going to repeat this rotation a few times, just working to send out that standing stop, stop. Have a little fun with these folds. Right, the rhythm of your breath. Yeah? Work to visualize, gather light, gather love on your exhale, send out fear. Send out sadness, send out anxiety, send out just boredom, anything that's been surfacing in your world. Guarantee we're all connected. Guarantee we've all experienced some of those lower vibrations, those lower frequencies. We're connected in that and we're also connected and our ability to raise our vibration. It's our duty to raise our vibration. Let's do it together. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Oh, well, stay. Hi, friends. Okay, meet me on your mat. Inhale, butterfly pose. <laughs> Lengthen your right leg long. Bring the sole of your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Begin to move your hips towards your extended leg. Send your arms up towards the sky. Big breath in. On your breath out, fold forward. We're going to level. Your left shoulder with your right. Pull it slightly down. If your lower back's extra tight today, if hamstrings are tight, option to bring a bend into your knee, a blanket underneath it. Option to bring blankets or cushions between your chest and your thigh. And if your hamstring's extra open, take a block, perch your heel on top of it. Another block, bring it to the base of your foot and fold. So many options to work through your practice and to develop your practice. 
You need to flex your toes. Hopefully that initial exercise has helped to bring some warmth, some sunlight into your body. Hopefully if you were feeling a little stagnant or a little down, you're feeling your mood elevate a little. That is what we want. Dive through the distractions. Drive through the disruptions. Use your breath to support you in connecting to you. Maybe flex and point your toes. So good, friends. Lean into your breath. This is your first time joining us for a yin practice. We'll be holding shapes for extended periods of time. Working to get deep into the connective tissues. Working to get deep into energetic blockages in the body. Clearing those passageways. Working to generate deep healing. Working to build strength and flexibility to support us in coming at each day with strength and with flexibility, which has never been more important than it is right now. Yeah, thanks. Let's take three big breaths together. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. Feel your heart. Open up, exhale. And softly begin to rise. Bring your right hand towards the inside of your right foot. Maybe it meets your calf today. Send your left arm up and over. Maybe you make hand to put connection. If so, great. Spin your chest up towards the sky or maybe bring your left hand to your right shoulder. You also have the option to press your left knee down with your right hand. So play with the different variations. See where you feel most secure, whether it's here or whether it's here. Everybody's different and every single one of us is working <laughs> out different blockages, working through like different injuries that we've recovered from, so if your shape doesn't look like mine, that's okay, right? It shouldn't, we're not identical, we're not the same, but we are all connected in our collective effort to be the best version of ourselves, for ourselves, for the world. <laughs> so just shift weight into your right outer thigh. Use your exhales to spin your heart space downward. Please pass your left bicep. Breathe here. Being so good, friends. Stay connected. Three more big power breaths. Breathe in, fill up. Open up, exhale. My big breath in. Big breath out. One more breathe in. And open up, exhale. Softly draw your left arm down. Bring your left hand behind your left glute. Inhale, lift it up, butterfly pose. Pull your hips off the floor, reach your right hand behind you. Take a breath in. And your breath out, sucking 
down towards the mat, we'll change sides. So you're moving into half butterfly pose, Janu Sarasana on the left. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Square your hips towards your extended leg. And when you're ready, fold. And use your blocks as tools here, friends. So there are so many different options. Breathe light into this space. Breathe warmth into this. You, in the middle of your day, you deserve this time. You deserve this blessing. So enjoy it and let it be a blessing. Like to pull your right shoulder down in line with your left. Maybe point and flex into your foot. Start to witness your own ability to create just a little bit more space with each exhale. To create a little more length through your spine with each exhale. As we surrender, as we let go, as we trust, friends, that we are being protected, that we are being guided, everything starts to feel a little more joyful. So we're to surrender to this moment. There's no relationship more important than your own relationship with yourself. So we're to dive deep into that relationship, this practice. In this moment, one, friends, one more minute here in this shoes. Notice if you're trembling, notice if you're really pulling your foot towards your face. Back off a little, let your body. Open, hold your growth tenderly in your hands. Let it bloom. Three more big breaths. You ready? Breathe in. Open mouth. Exhale. Breathe in. Big breath out. Slowly rise halfway, friends. Bring your left hand towards the inside of your left foot. Reach your right arm up and over. Maybe you bring your hand to your shoulder. Or maybe you make hand to foot connection. And again, you have the option to press your right knee down with your left hand. So play with this variation and explore what feels best in your physical body. Or to spin your heart up to the sky. Invite space and length through your right side. God, this is your solar energy and your divine masculine energy. Hmm. Let's invite balance. We're always working towards balance. Yes. Hmm. Oh, good friends. Challenge yourself then to gaze up towards the sun. Past your right bicep. Go ahead, gather that light. Three big breaths, breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. 
Breathe in. And breathe out. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Good, softly roll in. Come to an easy seat on your mat. We're gonna move through simple cat cow. Bring your hands to your knees. Take a breath in, seated cow pose. Lift your face with your chest. Exhale, seated cat pose. Rounded dome, your spine. But inhale, seated cow, lift. Exhale, seated cat. You can maintain this rotation. We're actually going to add Kundalini circles, moving with nice large circles in the beginning here, moving low to the ground. And then gradually allowing these circles to grow a little more organic as you work out resistance through right links our brain <laughs> to everything else. Things are cosmic energy with our earthly energy. So it's so important that this part of the body is young, and nourished, healthy. And take three more rotations. Be sure to even out your sides. Come a little as you move. Good. Then pause in your easy seat. Form circles with your head, moving to the right, moving to the left. We played with head rolls in the last yin flow, so you can always go back to that one if you really want to work with the neck, but we're just taking a few gentle rolls side to side here. Maybe bring your left hand to your left knee, and gently bring your right hand to the side of your left head, then to the back of your head, and then change sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. You're gonna meet in dragonfly pose, wide-legged splits, Upa Vishka Konasana. So spread your legs wide, press your toes towards your face. And see where you are right now. If your spine's rounding inwards, if this is uncomfortable and your inner thighs are screaming, start to sit on a cushion or on a blanket um, to give your spine a little bit of support and just hang here. If your lower back is tight or if your inner thighs are tight, you can bend into your knees and bring blankets beneath them, or you can bring a cushion or a blanket here to support your chest. If you have access, or if it, this is accessible, begin to walk your hands forward and let your chest meet the floor. Maybe third eye space between your brow to the mat. Maybe legs to the floor. The choice is yours. We're gonna be here for several minutes. In this particular stretch I've been leaning into a lot for the last week and a half. Lots of reasons for it. But when we're in a fold like Dragonfly, we're supporting the circulation of blood through the body. So we're really working to cleanse and detoxify the body, specifically in the digestive tract, which is so important, especially right now. But its energetic benefits are supporting us in grounding and stabilizing our mind and our emotions. Yeah? Working to bring balance. So in these next few shapes, and this one and some of the others to follow, you may notice certain emotions surface in poses. And that's a good thing. When emotions bubble up, it's an indication that you're ready to let something go, that you're ready to leave, you're ready for it to leave the body. So 
So if you are feeling extra vulnerable today, embrace that. Celebrate that. Celebrate your growth, your evolution, and know that we're here for you and with you. Emanating love. Emanating love towards you. Emanating love towards all. So if you find that this particular flow and being forced to slow down is sending you into a mind loop or back into any racing thoughts, just reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with that energy, that frequency you're wanting to create. My word is love. I can generate love for myself and for all of you. And what's your word? Just let that materialize in your mind's eye. Let that filter through your body. Maybe point and flex your feet just like half butterfly pose. Friends. You're over the halfway point. to invite breath, maybe lion's breath, sing basana, stick up your tongue and roar. is around sweeping the mind, cleansing the mind. So I want you to visualize somebody that you find beautiful. Mm -hmm. And if that beautiful person that you envisioned is beautiful simply because of their physical appearance, I want you to extend your <laughs> visualization here. And I want you to think about somebody who at first glance, maybe to you isn't beautiful based on physical appearance or based on societal standards, but whose essence just radiates light, whose essence just radiates youth and kindness and love. That person whom you're visualizing right now has a powerful auric field. Their energy is clean, it's clear, it's filled with light it's pure yeah and that's what we're working to create within ourselves these poses are not only helping to support our physical health but working to improve our energetic field and the vibrations that we send out to others that's the beauty of yoga that's the essence and foundation of yoga Hmm. So take that in as you come back up. Bend your knees mindfully with control. Pull your knees in towards your body. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a huge embrace. You earned it. 
And then we'll lean in cow face, legs on the right. So work to cross your right leg over your left. And if your legs are here, I want you to heel toe your feet out. So they're parallel with your knees. Work to move your glutes from side to side so you can anchor yourself firmly into the floor. And if there's a lot of space, between your knee, your top knee and your bottom knee, that's okay. Bring blankets or pillows there. Or a cushion or books beneath your forearms. We're gonna begin to walk our hands out. And use your fingertips to help you glue your glutes back into the mat and to create length through your lower back. But as you do so, challenge yourself at the same time to relax your shoulders down. We're working to create softness, fluidity, flexibility, especially in this yin practice. In this yin practice, we have the opportunity to really pay more attention to our vibrations and to the energy within us. In these long holds, we have the opportunity to explore where we've been holding on. So we might not even realize that we've been repressing emotions or, you know, hiding feelings. And maybe we're doing that to put on a brave face or a strong face for others. But you don't have to do that on your mat right now. You can let that emotion go right now. Lean into your vulnerability. And if what you're experiencing is joy, that's so beautiful. Please send that joy out. People will feel your energy right now. And if what you're feeling is pain or sadness or discomfort, that's okay too, let it out and then breathe in that joy. Breathe in that love that's accessible to you. Your hands are connected to the earth. Mother Earth is here nourishing you, nourishing us all. We are all loved, we are all supported. We are all protected. So be gentle with yourself in these moments. Find the strength in your breath. Three more breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath. In. Open mouth. Exhale. Good, softly rise to a seat. Bring your right hand behind your right glute, lift your left arm up to the sky, take a breath in. On your breath out, twist. So work to hook your left elbow outside your right knee. And if you have to come out of your cow face legs a little to make this twist successful, that's okay. Challenge yourself to lift your right hand and press your thumbs into your sternum. We want a nice long spine, avoid rounding and curving. And our hearts are lifted, our hearts are open. Gaze over your right shoulder. And use your exhales to deepen your twist. This twist is so important, so stay present in it. Not only is it going to help to Open and unpack some of the tightness that's still lingering in the back of your right hip. But it's creating a tourniquet effect in the body, which is working to flush out those toxins that you're starting to break down. That's what we want. We want that toxicity out of the body. We want any limiting beliefs to leave the body. Yes, friends, the presence of love will always cast out fear. So be loving with yourself in these moments. Good 
three more, breathe in, breathe out. Big breath in, big breath out. Softly begin to bring your hands outside your left hip. Take a gentle twist this way. Good. And before we even out our sides, we're going to move into half pigeon on the right. So form an outer V shape with your right leg. Check to see before you settle down that your back leg is long behind you. And if your right hip is elevated off the floor, bring blankets there, pillows there. When you're ready, come down. I feel like I'm so close to you all this practice. Mm, thanks for being here, friends. Pull your left hip down and line with your right. Lean into the power of your exhale. You've already worked. Up. Begin unpacking this space. So now is the opportunity. To really notice where you're holding on, where you're resistant to letting go. Trusting you're safe in these moments. Notice that you're maybe squeezing, that you're maybe tightening because this can be uncomfortable. And use your breath to support you in softening. Yeah? Some. Something or one of the things that's so remarkable about the body, right, is that we breathe even when we're sleeping. We don't even have to think about our breath half of the time. Usually, it's so mindless. The body does so much to take care of us without us ever really even celebrating or appreciating what it does. But when you are mindful with your breath and when you're attentive to your breath, you can begin to witness your own ability, your own power to create flexibility, create openness, to physically dispel things that you don't want to hold on to. Yeah? I mm. know, <laughs> so... Big breaths, big exhales. You're almost there, over halfway. Be hand center, hands forward, and drive through your fingertips. Push your right glute down towards the floor. Create a little more length, a little more openness in these last few breaths. At the same time, dial your left hip slightly down. If you're propped up on your forearms, no worries. Stay right there. Doing the hard work right now, friends. For yourself and for the collective, you're so important. I'm so grateful for you. Let's take three big breaths here. Breathe in. Open mouth. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Fill up. Good. Open mouth. Exhale. Mm. Softly lift your chest. Bring weight into your right hip and then glide your left leg around as we move into cow face legs on the left. So work to stack your left knee over your right. Again, if your heels are pinned into your sides, work to bring your feet parallel with your knees. Maybe this side looks a little different. That's normal. Stay seated if you need to. 
Utilize cushions if you need to when you're ready. Surrender into your full expression. The left side of the body is our lunar energy, our moon energy, our divine feminine. So notice just which side seems tighter and more resistant. Maybe that side of the body needs a little bit more attention, a little bit more love. We carry feminine and masculine energies within us and we want to balance those energies within us. So we're not looking for those energies outside ourselves. When we are truly balanced, divine feminine and divine masculine are balanced and we are whole, we need to find that our relationships flow with more ease, that we're able to communicate with more grace, and more importantly, that we're able to really stand in our power and stand assured in who we are, celebrating our own authenticity. So that's something I'm definitely working towards. Don't think that I sit here preaching, preaching at you. I'm working at it with you, friends. Constantly working to be better, to be more for myself and for all of you. That is what I'm holding on to during this interesting time. And so one thing that I know that I can control is that the more peace and love that I generate within and for myself, the more I can send that energy out to others. That's my ultimate aim. And I feel like that's my purpose. So I hope that all of you joining my flow feel a little more joyful or feel loved when you leave your mat. If so, if one of you feels that way, then feel like I'm doing my job, that I'm fulfilling my purpose. Kind of toy with your own dharma right now. This is such a beautiful opportunity for you to really lean in and love yourself and explore your dreams and visions and all the things you didn't have time to work on until it unfolded. Lean into your exhales. You're much more than halfway through. friends one more minute notice if your breath has fallen silent let go of fear let go of those limiting beliefs those habitual holding patterns you are supported you are loved you are protected you matter you are enough. You can create this peace. You can create this ease in your world. This can be the best day ever. This can be the best afternoon, the best evening ever, the best morning ever, depending on when you're tuning in. Make it so. Let it be so. We 
Breathe love into your heart. Breathe love out. Yes, celebrate together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in love. Breathe out fear. Yes, you can. Three more breaths, breathe in. Open up, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Let's slowly rise up to your seat. Bring your left hand behind you. Lift your right arm up to the sky. Take a breath in. Breath out, twist. Hook your right elbow outside your left leg. Maybe lift your left hand. Push your thumbs into your chest. Gaze over your left shoulder. Use your exhales, friends, to deepen your twist. God, this is the tourniquet effect. This is the opportunity to really flush out that tox together. Thank you, friends. I feel your presence. I feel your loving presence. Let's take three more big breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Then come back to the mind. Half peaching on the left. Bring the soul, or rather, form an LRD shape with your left leg. Lengthen your right leg behind you. Check to see that it's straight. And if this hip is lifted dramatically, or maybe so, <laughs> bring that blanket, pillow there. This is our last major hip opener at this class. Really work to maintain a sense of presence as you invite that balance between your solar and lunar energy begin young. Notice what stirs up. I'm not immune to emotion surfacing. So <laughs> it happens to all of us. It's a good thing. Let it bubble up. Let it go. Be vulnerable in your practice. Why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find your full expression. Avoid sending all the way into your left hip. Pull your right hip slightly down. Use your breath to get you out of that fight or flight response. You're not at risk of being hit or being harmed. You're safe on your left. So move out of the right knee and brain. Move out of the mental chatter. Move deeper into your energetic body so you can begin to cleanse your auric field. To maintain an auric field that is beautiful, that is radiant, and that uplifts others.
Check in with your breath, your prana, your life force. You're almost halfway. Get deeper into the shape. Get deeper into your breath body. These last few moments, I want you to really focus on what you want to feel, whether that's joy, whether that's peace, whether that's wanting to feel loved. You can access that from within. So create it within right now. Each breath getting you closer to that feeling, closer to that frequency. It's within you right now. If you can dream it, you can have it. Just a little under a minute left. Lion's breath. Let's do it together. Breathe in. See Vasana roar. Breathe in. See Vasana. Two more. Breathe in. Lion's breath. Let's be breath in. Big breath out. Guide slowly, send weight towards your left heel. Bring it back in an easy seat. Take a few more cat cows, maybe a kundalini circle or two. Lift your chest. Go ahead and allow your shoulders to round in. Just three more rounds. Hmm. And we're gonna meet friends on our back in Bali Bridge. So bring your feet out wide. Let your knees knock in towards one another. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And if your lower back's lifting off the floor, bring it down to your mat. Invite a connection between the earth and your spine. Just observe the rhythm of your heartbeat, the life that's rising and falling within you. Celebrate your aliveness right now. to cultivate gratitude for your beautiful radiant essence beautiful radiance from the inside out believe it friends celebrate it friends breathe in breathe out i just take a moment let that gratitude sink in Really treat yourself with loving kindness in these final moments. Mm -hmm. Thank yourself for practicing today. 
Mm, you can see here for as long as you like. Maybe you want a little bit more movement with the happy baby pose. Maybe lengthen one leg. Maybe lengthen the other leg. Just explore what you need. Mm, when you're ready, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a huge embrace. So much love in this moment. And on your exhale, send your arms and legs out long for our final resting posture, shavasana. Take up space. Pull your shoulders down to the floor. Let your heart be open. I'll cue you out of here shortly, friends. And stay in this meditative shape for as long as you choose, friends. But if you're ready to move on with your afternoon, bring soft awareness back to your fingers and toes, back to your ankles and back to your wrists. Curl to one side. And spend that moment in gratitude for your sacred breath, for your beautiful life. And when you're ready, rise to a seat. Take a breath and swing your arms up to the sky, gather your blessings. And on your exhale, pull those blessings into your heart. Beautiful friends, may all happiness find you. May all love surround you. And may the pure light within you guide your way on. Namaste. Namaste, my four beautiful friends and anyone else tuning in. Thank you so very much for being here for today's practice. I pulled a few cards for us before we began our flow. So visualization, leaning into your inner knowing, Mother Earth, connecting with the outdoors today, and leaning into your personal power. So it's such a interesting time and I think we're all feeling the wave of emotions in different ways um, I just want you to know that you are loved that you are supported that you are protected and the one thing that we can control is what's going on within ourselves so I'm really thankful to you for investing in your physical bodies today um, our intention, again, was all about sweeping the mind, so letting go of that anxiety, sadness, stress, working to cultivate the joy through the release of um, endorphins. So, yes, namaste. Uh, please send me your feedback. It's so important. And I'll see you for vinyasa tomorrow if you're around. I love you, friends. Namaste.